When going to sleep, do you lie awake listening to cars pass by or watch the minutes tick away on the clock? If so, you may have sleep deprivation. Sleep deprivation is basically just not getting enough sleep. It could be, you know, all at once pulling an all-nighter, you know, you total sleep deprivation, or it can be just over time you're getting not enough sleep every night. Maybe you're only getting five or six hours a night. Sleep deprivation affects tens of millions of adults each year. The problem with lack of sleep is not what it does to your body right away, but what it does over a long period of time. There's huge cognitive effects. I mean, your memory and your learning capability are hugely impacted by sleep deprivation, which is really bad for college students. Um, there's also reaction time, obviously, and these are not necessarily long term. I mean, if you catch up on your sleep, you can recover from these, but your immune system gets depressed. Um, it can lead to cardiovascular disease, heart attack, stroke. Other effects may include fainting, aching muscles, and drowsiness. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, over 100,000 traffic accidents each year are caused by fatigue. After 18 hours of sleep deprivation, which isn't that long for most of us, you know, you go 18 hours without sleeping, and your reaction time is equivalent to having a blood alcohol concentration of 0.08, which is legally intoxicated. So um, I think that kind of puts it in perspective for a lot of us because we all know, you know, that we can't drive drunk or, you know, do different things drunk, but um, we do it without sleep all the time. More serious effects include diabetes and obesity. The impact sleep deprivation has on health led to the creation of National Sleep Awareness Week. This year's event occurred last week and tried to get CU students involved by thinking about their sleeping habits. I do have problems sleeping. It's usually before I take an exam. I'm up having um, exam questions and answers just tumbling around in my brain. To eliminate sleeping problems before an exam, the event suggested taking short naps throughout the day. There were also brochures available on the different types of sleeping disorders. Although many college students blame their sleeping problems on school, you may be surprised to find out how much sleep they're actually getting. Well, each night I think I get about seven hours of sleep. Probably seven to eight. Uh, seven and a half. Between six and a half and seven and a half. Doctors recommend that the average adult get between seven to nine hours of sleep each night. So by this standard, these CU students are not sleep deprived. However, this doesn't mean that they are happy with the amount of sleep they are getting. We actually do surveys uh, every other year to see kind of what the health issues on campus are. And sleep consistently is in the top three. It's stress, flus and cold, and sleep are the top three things that students say interfere with their ability to perform well in school. We may not all be as rested as we would like, so if you are having problems sleeping, there are a couple of things you could try. One being to work out earlier in the afternoon, to avoid drinking caffeine before bedtime, or to buy a sleep mask, which will help to block unwanted light. Tara Rowe, News Team Boulder.